Anyway, no. Will, when, no. when we brought you into the well-being series and you did a session on emotional well-being, yeah. just give us a little nugget of what you said in that. I mean, Roy, I think the, the thing about emotional health is, you know, when we start talking about mental health, people quite often, people who haven't experienced mental health problems typically say, this isn't for me. Um, it's a bit like when you go to the doctor and you've got a diagnosable disease, you start listening to what the doctor has to say. Mm. So if it's heart disease, when the doctor says start exercising or reduce cholesterol, you listen to him. If you haven't got heart disease, you don't listen to him. And that's the problem with mental health is that people always think it's someone else's problem. But, but emotional health is more like physical fitness. You don't just start being physically fit when you're ill. Hopefully you start trying to get physically fit when you're well to stave off illness. And, and the reality is in our fast moving society, we need to focus in more on our emotional health mm -hmm. as a precursive step, as a protective step around our mental health. We've all got mental health that our mental health can be supported by early steps into emotional health. And a lot of emotional health is really about self-awareness, understanding and dialecting our emotions and, and actually beginning to respond to our emotions. There was quite a culture in the church, I think for quite a long time, which was all about, you know, don't trust your emotions or don't listen to your emotions or your emotions are kind of agents of, of, of danger, you know, and actually, what, what, what emotions Jesus was the most emotionally literate person to ever walk the earth and he expresses all of the human emotions mm -hmm. you know yes he's full of peace and joy but he's also full of anguish and grief and sadness and anger and emotions that lots of Christians and people in the general society think are off limits for them but I think if Jesus could be all of those things then I should be all of those things as well so emotional health is about dialecting our emotions that means what, is, what is, well what does dialecting mean dialecting i was going to say the same thing so so it means it means interpreting or connecting with our emotions so i mean i don't know if you guys use emojis i, I like emojis in my text messages but lots of the emojis are actually quite complicated but if you look at them they all express the fine points of emotion and actually, I, I like to help people, particularly men actually not, tend to be not so good at, at actually expressing emotions well. You know, asking them, you know, what's this mean to you? Or have you ever felt like this? Lots of emotions we haven't really got the language for, but we have got the feelings for. University of Glasgow says there are four core feelings. And out of those four core feelings, every other feeling is extrapolated. So it's a bit like an orchestra. There's the woodwind, the strings, the percussion and the brass. They're all, if you like, they're the core areas of our emotions. But within each of those groups of different instruments, there are, you know, there's violins and violas and cellos and double basses. They all make a slightly different sound. And our emotions are like that. They're complex, but they're also simple. And when we begin to express our emotions and understand our emotions better, our well-being is improved. We help to process our experiences more effectively. And we help to be better in community, which is a core part of our well-being. So we help to relate better to others and actually let others into our worldview. So typically saying, I'm all right, is actually not a helpful way to direct your emotions if you're struggling. So what we're doing here is we're trying to help people with their vocabulary. It's a bit like learning a new language, but this is a language you're sharing with others. It's common to everyone. We just have to be able to express it effectively. So that's a key part of what emotional health looks like.